Hello everyone, this is Loco S, and welcome back to DCS World for the Mirage 2000 C. In this tutorial series, we're going to go uh, go over how to create a data cartridge for the Mirage 2000 C for inputting uh, waypoints into the system, as well as actually then inserting the data cartridge into the Mirage 2000 C and uploading those coordinates into the Mirage. Now, this is not necessarily something you might want to consider doing or really have to do for a single player mission uh mainly because with the single player missions your the mission editor or if you created the mission yourself will already have laid out the waypoints as desired or as needed so this is really useful it comes in really handy in multiplayer servers where you want to you want to have waypoints to navigate with but you don't necessarily want to play uh spend all the time typing in coordinates looking up the coordinates typing them in uh, you just want something you can plug in download and be good to go. So the trick is, is with the Mirage 2000 C, you want to go ahead and place a single Mirage 2000 C on the map that you want to create the data cartridge for. So for instance, I'm using the South Atlantic map, uh, just because I'm going, I want to use this uh, tutorial, uh, part of this tutorial series to do a bit more of a, um, other, there's a couple more advanced navigation tutorials that I want to use this map for. So we're going to go ahead and just create a tutorial, um, create a data cartridge for this map for giggles. So we're going to go ahead and select our Mirage 1000C, which is the only uh, aircraft or the is, is the only unit in the game on the mission on this mission editor. It's the Mirage 1000C. So we're going to click it, and then we're going to bring up the waypoint menu, and then we're just going to start placing out waypoints. So if you Place down fewer than uh, 11 waypoints. If you place 10 or fewer waypoints, what will happen is whenever you load the data cartridge into the Mirage, it won't load waypoint 1 into uh, waypoint 1 on the Mirage's computer. Waypoint 1 here will become waypoint 11, and so on and so forth. So, for instance, waypoint Four would then become waypoint 14 and then waypoint 10 would be waypoint 20. Now because of the Mirage only has enough store memory for 20 waypoints, if you go ahead then and place a waypoint 11, what will happen is, is that waypoint 11 will become, will then push, will then make the data cartridge load up all the waypoints from 1 to 11 as is. So waypoint 1 here would become waypoint 1 in the Mirage, waypoint 4 would become waypoint 4 in the Mirage, 10 will become 10, and 11 will become 11. Also do note that if you, for when you create your own landing waypoint, uh, definitely make sure with these data cartridges, uh, you include a landing waypoint for your home base. That will help, uh, that will automatically set up the, the waypoint for using the advanced uh, landing modes for the Mirage that the Mirage has. So go ahead and include that in for your uh, waypoint. And that's it for creating the actual flight plan. Now to actually get the game to recognize this as a flight plan, you want to go to File, Save As. You want to go into your Saved Games folder and then go to your Open Beta. And then you want to go to an Open Beta or closed beta or just regular DCS world, uh, whatever version of DCS you are currently flying. You want to go in and if you don't have a folder like this already made, which you probably don't, you want to go to your data cartridges folder. If you don't, go ahead and create a folder named data cartridges, all one word, capital D at the beginning. Once you have that folder created, and already I already have and if you already have that folder created just open it up and then you'll have all of these uh, uh well I, I already have all these in here that's because I already have created a couple of data cartridges for different maps for instance I have used uh I have ones for Georgia at war uh Persian Gulf at war I also have ones for um Flashpoint Levant with Syria and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to save over this essay tutorial one that I was uh, playing around with. So we're going to go ahead, 
file already exists. Yep. So in that case, we're just going to save over that file. There it is. So we're going to load into the mission that we had earlier. And then we're going to just fly from here. And I will see you all once we get the Mirage uh, set up. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So I went ahead, turned on the battery, and I connected ground power. So that way we're not going to run out of electricity while we uh, do this operation. So go ahead. Uh, you can also do this when the engine's running. You don't have to do this. And you can also do this before or after the uh, INS is fully aligned. We're going to do it before the INS is aligned. So we're going to go ahead and leave the INS operation mode to normal. Go to standby. And then just to uh, demonstrate what's going on. So waypoint 00, zero is our Mirage's current position. If we go prep 01, you will see that oh, we get a whole bunch of zeros. This is indicating that the Mirage has no data for the waypoint. And we can again prove it out, waypoint 05, nothing, waypoint 11, clear, prep 0. There we go. Again, waypoint 11, nothing shown. So in order to load the waypoints into the Mirage, MIP data cartridge slot, open that up. And then if you have multiple data cartridges, you can use your mouse wheel to sort between them. However, I only have this one, so I'm going to left click, left click again. That inserts the data cartridge. You will see MIP show up here in a amber light. Click Val. The data cartridge, the MIP slot uh, light will go will extinguish once the data is fully loaded, and then you can go ahead and left click, right click and close the slot. And there we go. Now we have prep, again, zero one, uh, prep zero 01. That's showing that waypoint. Prep zero 02, zero 05, and then prep. And there we go. Just showing you that, indeed, the waypoints have loaded in. And that's it. The flight plan has now been loaded into the Mirage 2000C, and you're ready to go. So. Quick note about the data cartridge. Um, let's quick summary again. Uh, if, again, if you only have a create a flight plan with less than 10 waypoints, the data will be loaded into waypoints 11 through 20. So waypoint one in the data card and your flight plan will become waypoint 11, so on and so forth. If you load more than, if you load uh, 11 or more, they'll actually load into the, uh, the numbers in your flight plan on the mission editor will match up with what's in the Mirage 2000C. Also, uh, you might have, this is a great feature if you're flying online servers, so use the mission editor, create some flight plans, and have some fun with that. And until next time, this is LockOS, signing out from DCS World.